Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday. We miss you guys. Thank you for joining us again this week. We're praying for you. We love you. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump into a time of worship. So whoever you're with, go ahead and stand on up. And we're going to jump right into it.
to you. When my heart may fail, my song will rise, my song will rise to you. I'd do something fun with you and um, do a little experiment at the same time as a little lesson. So have you ever wondered why Jesus had to die? So I thought I would show you in, um, in a way that would help you and it's also a visual. So, so Jesus, he came to take the punishment of sin that you have done and will ever do. So this is you, perfect, clear. Ooh, I can just drink you up, you're just perfect. And then what happens is, is we sin and it changes us. So it changes us, kinda, and it clouds us, it changes us, It gives us elements that we're not supposed to have. Maybe anger, jealousy, uh, maybe you lied, maybe you yelled at your parents, maybe you hurt someone or even hurt yourself. So, so that God saw this and he knew this is not how he intended you to be. He, but that's not it, he didn't leave it at that. He had a perfect rescue plan and that was Jesus. So he brought Jesus to be our perfect rescue plan. And he just had Jesus take the whole sin, the sin of the world on that cross to die. And what would happen if Jesus takes the whole sin of the world?
Wow. Jesus could take that whole sin of the world. He took it to the cross and he took it to the grave. And guess what? He left it there. He left that sin there and he came back and he came back perfect, clear, sinless, blameless, perfect Jesus. You see, we don't need this anymore. We don't need sin because he defeated sin with dying on the cross. So we could put that away. But then there's you who still sins and still have this element that's not meant to be. But you have the ability to accept Jesus, to ask Jesus to fill you up. And so let's see what happens when Jesus fills you up. There you go. You have the ability to accept Jesus in your heart and it changes everything. He gave you freedom and eternal life and it is amazing and it keeps you closer to Jesus. See, Jesus is still pure, blameless, and he sin separates us from Jesus. And this is why Jesus had to die. We love you guys. We hope you have a great evening. We'll see you soon. So we love that experiment. It's so amazing, that picture of how sin has no effect on Jesus. He is clean, he is washed clean, he always will be. He has never sinned. And he can take on our sin on his, in his death on the cross for us. He took that on. And so that's so amazing. And then just as we are filled with Jesus and filled with the Holy Spirit, how he washes us clean. It's such an amazing experiment, right? So I wanna close us in prayer tonight. Just thank Jesus for what he has done for us and how we don't have to carry around that filthy water with our sin in it, but we can um, live as white as snow like the Bible says. Okay, so let's pray. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for that experiment and how we can just see, um, Jesus, how... Um, how sin and death has no hold over you. And when we're in you, when we're filled with you and with your Holy Spirit, that sin will have no hold on us, Lord, that we can conquer it, that we can be strong and courageous and do the right thing even when it's hard. And we just thank you for who you are, Jesus. We thank you for how amazing you are, the only perfect one who ever lived, God. And Jesus, we thank you for your death on the cross, for obeying God's plan, for giving up your throne in heaven to come down to live among us, to die that painful death on the cross. Jesus, we thank you for it. We thank you because it gives us life. And we thank you for how you rose from the dead in that miraculous way. And you give us um, just faith and hope and love. You give us so much, Jesus. And we thank you for who you are. And we thank you for who we are because of you. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you um, have never told Jesus thank you for forgiving your sins and for making you as white as snow, giving you that clean, clean water, um, talk to your parents. And if your parents have any questions, they can call the office or email Ms. Kim and I, or we'd be happy to talk with you too, okay? Jesus is everything.